Six of the integrals for trig functions can be seen below. u is a function of x. Two other rules can be developed by using the identities tangent of x equals sine x over cosine x and cotangent of x equals cosine x over sine x. How would I integrate sine x over cosine x? Well, if my denominator is u, then my numerator is almost u prime. I just need to multiply by negative inside and out my integrand. Now you have u prime over u, so the integral is ln absolute value u. We can follow a similar process for the integral of cotangent. And now we have the formulas for the integral of tangent and cotangent as well. Number three would be equivalent to negative three integral of sine x. And the integral of sine x is negative cosine x. You could have also just taken out three and left the negative inside and then anti-derived from there. Here we have cosine of u. So we have to make sure u prime is in the integrand. Multiply by pi and one over pi. Now the integral of cosine u, u prime. The integral of secant squared u, u prime is tangent u plus c. So let's see if we have that. u would be y cubed, making u prime 3y squared. We do have a y squared in the integrand. We just need to multiply by 3 and 1 third. Our next one looks like secant u tan u, which is a formula if u prime is included. The integral of secant u tan u, u prime is secant u. Sometimes using trig identities can help you simplify the integrand in order to integrate it. Now that I've rewritten it, I can see the quotient identity would make this cotangent of 5x, and reciprocal identity of sine is cosecant. Oh, this looks like it might be cosecant if u is 5x. If you notice for number 8, our denominator is tangent theta, and our numerator is secant squared theta. That's u prime over u. So we get ln absolute value tangent theta plus c. Tangent squared x can be rewritten as secant squared x minus 1. The integral of secant squared x is tangent x. The integral of 1 is x. Find the area bounded by y equals 2 cosine x, y equals 1 half tangent x, and x equals 0. Set up an integral and use a calculator to integrate. Let's begin by graphing. Our graphs intersect at some x value. I will call that b. To find the intersection, use the equation solver in your calculator. And find the solution closest to pi fourths or pi halves. You should get an x value of 1.081752. Go ahead and save that, store that in your calculator so you can use it as your upper integration limit. Our integral will be upper curve minus lower curve from 0 to b. Using a calculator, you should get 1.388 or 1.387.